Now you're something of an expert when it comes to safety and, and seal levels. So can I ask you, is a seal certificate alone enough to ensure a safe valve? No, not alone. I think certification is a good thing. The basic idea that somebody else than the manufacturer has actually checked the design, evaluated, make a study, I think it gives some kind of a uh, good estimation. But alone it's not enough. There's much more aspect that we have to look to make good and proper safety valve. So if we consider uh, an emergency shutdown valve, what additional aspects need to be considered to ensure the user gets a safe valve? Well, the, you have to cover the basics first. I think the most important aspect is to select the correct valve. It doesn't really matter how, much, how good your certification is. So you have a seal three levels, you have all the nice BFD values. If you have incorrectly selected valve, for example, seat type that doesn't handle the application, the valve will be jammed. And even the PFD values and everything else looks great, the valve doesn't work in the process, so it wouldn't make a good safety valve. So first pick up the valve according to application, make sure the valve works, and then after that work with the PFD calculation, make a seal level. Then you have a proper and nice safety or ESD valve. So following the PFD calculation, is, is anything else required? Well, after, after you have done a PFD calculation, seal level, there's certainly some maintenance period there, there's testing interval. So after you have a PFD level, you have to make sure that the PFD level stays on the wanted, wanted level. So after that you have to do a testing maintenance for the valve. So when you calculate the PFD value, you calculate the seal level, you also probably use some uh, testing interval. So after that to make a maintenance plan and fulfill that requirements. After that you have a uh, valve that fulfills the seal level all the time in the process. Now to me this still sounds fairly complicated, so if somebody's watching this video and they want some extra advice on seal levels and PFD calculations, can they turn to you for advice? Definitely, we have been working a long time with the seal calculation, with application based valve selection, so if you have any concerns, please contact us, I'm sure we can help you and clarify all the issues with the PFD calculations, maintenance period and all that related to functional safety and really make your valves work in a, and make a safe plant.